Hey everyone, welcome to another Orconfig tutorial video. Today we're going to cover the device prompt and regex on the device prompt, as well as some troubleshooting for device prompt issues. The device prompt when you're adding a device to Orconfig is a really important construct because it helps Orconfig determine when to capture output uh, and when the output has finished from a, a download using Telnet or SSH. So when you're setting up devices, uh, most many of you will know that you need to set the device prompt um, uh, and the enable prompt if that's required uh, when, you're, when you're adding your device information. Uh, you might also know that you can actually add this using this little helpful uh, hyperlink here and it can auto populate the device prompt for you based on the device name. But yours might be different. Um, for example, it could be called location one or something different, right? So you, you you should have the device prompt for a device as accurate and complete as possible. So I'm going to show you why this matters. Um, I already have a device here that we're going to use, and we are going to check the device prompt first. It's set to router one hash, and we know that this is the config level, uh, exact level device prompt, okay? So if I jump over, if I copy my uh, CLI command, uh, which many of you should be familiar with. If I jump over to my uh, terminal and input the, the debug CLI command for this particular device ID, you can see this matches, and hit enter, what I expect to see is almost instant output. And what I've just witnessed is uh, correct uh, behavior of our config and the speed I expect in terms of capturing what will, we've gotten three different commands here, show run, show version, show clock, okay? If I just check my configs, uh, we'll see uh, we have those, the, the time is correct and it's actually not 3.43 a.m. in the morning here. Um, but anyway, so, so that matters, right? Now I'm gonna show you what happens if an incorrect prompt is there. So we're just gonna call it router two. We're gonna save that. We're gonna go back to our CLI and we are going to do a download. Again, let me clear the screen hit enter, and I'm going to start counting. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, and that will count all the way up to the timeout value as set by the device connection template, okay? So what's happened is the device has sent back a prompt, router one, pound sign, and where we, our config is expecting router two, pound sign. So it's waiting the 60 second timeout in the template for the device prompt to come back. It never will. So what'll happen is it will time out and then it will force in the next command. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna cancel this. We're not gonna wait. Okay. And I'm gonna change it back to router one. And I'm going to rerun the command. And as I expect, I get a full complete download for each command uh, very, very quickly. So there was no timeout hit there. It saw the prompt we configured. It inputted the next command very quickly. Okay, perfect. So that's some basic troubleshooting and setting the prompt correctly and efficiently. So what I'm gonna do now very quickly then is we're gonna just talk about regex. So we can set regex in our prompt, okay? Uh, in version 6.9.6 and added to v6 core as well, um, we can add uh, various regex parameters to define uh, the prompt, okay? This is all in the documentation here, but I'm just gonna show you some examples. So for those not fam familiar with regex, you know, I'd advise you to do some reading. Uh, there's a great tool here called regex101.com, which is at the bottom of this page, the, the documentation, uh, which will help you figure out uh, matches on your strings based on the regex input, right? So I've got a test string here called my router123. And uh, this does not match because it's missing the hyphen. But if I put in the hyphen, we'll see we get a full match denoted by the blue highlight here. If I take this, start to take strings out, you'll see where the characters match below. Now I'm gonna add in uh, a regex wildcard and you can see we've matched the entire string after the R. If I put in a hash, that's fine. If I put it in up front, 
like that, you'll see we match the entire stream. So we're actually going to do this right uh, on our device prompt, and we're going to see if the download happens as effectively and quickly as it should. Okay. And perfect. That's exactly what I expect. So look, that gives you some latitude in terms of setting uh, the device prompt. Uh, here's another example, right? Uh, oops, I'm just going to do that again. R dot star one pound sign save. Just do that one last test. And again, we get the output as, as quickly as we expect. All right. So. So a short video there, um, just on, on setting the device prompt correctly, troubleshooting device prompt issues, and uh, using regex in the device prompt. Make sure and refer to the documentation. Uh, premium subscribers can contact support for any issues, uh, and this is supported in both uh, V6 Professional and V6 Core. Thanks, everyone.